going to give you brief uh, information about uh, uh, advanced group by operations. Advanced group by operations means extent into group by class. So previous session we covered on uh, group by class, how to group the data when it comes to aggregations like a minimum, maximum, sum, average, count. So this video extension to group by class. Like if you're looking for a totals, a subtotals without writing a multiple queries, if you're looking for totals, subtotals, and a set of columns wise total set of columns by subtotals, then you can use a grouping sets or a roll up or cube. So this session, I'm going to give you more information related to what is exactly grouping sets, cube and roll up and how it will give you the analytics, how we will give you the analytics or you can say a summary of what you are expecting at a one column or multiple column level, total subtotals. I'm going to create one table. So this table, just a dealer information containing a, a dealer ID, CT, car model and a quantity, available quantity. Okay. So what we will do, what we will do, first we'll understand group by sets, then we will understand cube and roll up and how it will give you that uh, one column specific or again some combination of columns, totals, subtotals, combination of columns, totals and subtotals. So previous session we covered uh, how to use a group by uh, whenever you are using uh, aggregation functions like a sum, minimum, maximum, average. And if you are using a non-aggregated column, if you want to group together, group together, then you can go with a group by class. So that we did earlier. So like city wise, if you're looking for a city wise, in this table, city wise uh, total quantity, city wise total quantity. So you can go with group by class. Then if you go with the group by sets, group by sets. So you can go with the multiple combination, totals and subtotals. That mean I'm looking for sum of quantity, combination of city and car model, or city, or car model, or total. If you go with only group by what will happen, you see this, this is giving a total at each column level. So whatever the each column is, city we are giving, that value it is giving. So you don't see the total, okay? You don't see the total, even you don't see other column level, total subtotals, right? But uh, if you're looking for uh, totals and subtotals, so grouping sets, so three sets I'm giving here, total four sets, one is a city and car model combination. Another one is only city level, only car model level or total or total. MTE means it will give you totals, total quantity. So that's called grouping sets. That's called grouping sets. So extension to the group by class, extension to the group by class. Let's verify now. So MT, right? So MT means total available quantity 78, total available quantity 78. So the total you are coming. So others, it will display null. This is one set. And another set is car model wise. Another set is car model wise. So you can see the car model wise, Honda, you see this, Honda Accord 33 quantity, Honda CRV and Honda Civic. This is car model wise totals. The next is city. Again, you see this, wherever city Bangalore and null is this Bangalore, Total, which is 32. Another one is Chennai, 33. Another one is Hyderabad, 13. The next one is car model and city. So this is car model and city. This car model and city, subtotals, car model and city, car model and city. So this way, which you will get a totals, subtotals, with a multiple set, with a multiple set. So that is called grouping set, grouping set. Next we'll understand what is cube and roll up. So roll up uh, is a specific multiple levels of aggregations if you are looking for, then we'll go with the roll up, we'll go with roll up. So here, when you go with the roll up, with the same query, with the same query, we'll go with the roll up. What this will do, it will give you city model level totals, and only city level totals and sorry, city car model level subtotal, city level subtotal and total. So like this, it is equal to grouping sets of city car model, city and totals. 
So that is called roll up. Even roll up will give you this way. So now you can verify totals 78. Then city city wise, you see this. The first column is city, and the city wise, Bangalore, Chennai, and Hyderabad. Then two columns, that's city and core model level, subtotals. Okay. Then if you go with the cube, we go with the cube. So cube is, is it's like a, when it comes to compare to grouping sets, first it will give you city and core model and then city, then individual column like city separate and uh, core model separate, then totals. Subtotals and the totals you will you will get that is called cube. Let's verify here. You say this totals, then subtotals car model wise, subtotals car model wise, then subtotals uh, city wise, city Chennai, and then Hyderabad, then car model and city. This two combination, city and car model combination. So this way which we can go with uh, grouping sets, roll up and cube grouping sets roll up and cube mainly analytic side OLAP cubes most of the OLAP cubes level analytic side and a reporting tool or a SQL analytic side so we can use this grouping set roll up and cube it's extension to group by class extension to group by class so this is about uh, uh, grouping the data and uh, totals and subtotals next video we'll see another topic in sql if you like this video please subscribe my channel see you in another video have a good day thank you